What's up, guys? It's your boys, Awoki, back with another scary, terrifying, and creepy video from Nukes Top 5. We're about to watch his new top 10 scary. He needs to make a Nukes Top 10 and then have Nukes Top 10, Nukes Top 5. But we're going to be watching his 10 scary ghost videos that'll give you the creeps. So grab a chair, grab some popcorn, your extra pair of pants. It's spooky time. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe right now by hitting that white bar icon down at the bottom right. Hit that bell icon next to it. So when I do post videos like this one, you guys will get that little ring notification that Wokey myself has posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you guys so very much for that love and support that you guys show on my channel every single day. I can't thank you guys enough. Keep doing what you guys are doing. We'll continue to keep growing together. With that being said, though, go over to New. I know he doesn't need help from me, but go give him some love. Go subscribe, comment, like, and share. You know the deal. Give him some love. Watch his old stuff. Watch his new stuff. And with that being said, let's get into his creepy video. I love his intro. A few months ago, a woman named Rosanna bought an old apartment somewhere in France and moved in with her two very young children and her 13-year-old cat, Loli. Is this the one that but we've been almost watching? immediately after moving into the new place, her cat begins to act very strangely. Yep. I've actually had nightmares about this place now. But I'll let you watch. It's cute. I didn't know this was in France. Hey! Hey! Kitty's not having a good time. The cat, Loli, aggressively hisses and snarls at something that Rosanna can't see. Now, Rosanna says that the cat had never done anything like this before they moved. So as a single mother, Rosanna shares custody of her children with their father. So one night when the children are away at their dad's house, something happens that makes Rosanna's blood run cold. Spooky time. If anybody knows French and then can translate that, can you let me know down in the comments? What in the God's great, oh my gosh. I thought this was the shadow, holy mother. That's when you take the boom box and you go boom, 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 boom and break it. Girl, just send that sucker down the hallway. Just... You can always buy a new one. Oh my gosh. I've got goosebumps. I'm telling you, this thing would go out the window. Even though Rosanna is completely alone, she hears her young daughter's voice calling out to her from the children's bedroom. So it could be a, what do they call it? A mimic or a skinwalker where they mimic the person that possibly lives there? The voice repeats, Mama, no, over page. and over. But strangest of all, the voice seems to be coming from an old radio that doesn't even have batteries inside. After this absolutely terrifying no experience, cord. Rosanna decides to share her story online in search of advice. She also calls for help from a local priest. The scared mother is now desperate to try absolutely anything to get rid of the sinister entity that seems to be haunting her home. But nothing seems to help. In fact, it just gets much, much worse. This doll, this is what, I just remember dreaming about this doll, doll face. tell you I would hit that with a bat. And it just keeps following her. For those skeptics out there, tell me how that's moving. Oh, good gosh. Jeez. <laughs> I don't want to 
want to look at it. Ah. I'm telling you, I would throw that out my heart. Oh my gosh. I got chills to the lower. And watch it follows her. All right. The head of a dressing mannequin that Rosanna has had for years it. moves on its own and seems to follow her with its eyes as she moves around the room. Rosanna feels that the apartment is no longer safe for her children and decides to stay in the home all alone. Eventually, she becomes so scared that she starts to only sleep in the apartment's living room. But then, late one night, Rosanna hears her cat Loli angrily snarling at something in the hallway just uh. outside the living room door. What happens next is downright chilling. This one's creepy. I'll let you guys watch it. Loli. but it's kind of like doing this, it's like... <laughs> I'd like to know how that is possible. Luni? No way. No, my man. After this very disturbing incident, Rosanna says that she became seriously ill and spent the rest of the night throwing up. Oh, God. She says she is absolutely convinced that the old apartment she bought is haunted by a demon. For now, she stays at a hotel with her cat until she can hopefully afford to move somewhere else. She says she's currently seeking legal action against the people who sold her that apartment. Oh. The thing in the basement. Let's see what's gonna happen. A new on top five viewer who wishes to remain anonymous, we'll call her Jane, reached out to us about a very creepy experience she had in her family home. I would love to live here. That looks awesome. Home in Norway. So while Jane is in the basement grabbing some tools for her brother, she hears something that puts her on edge. She hits record on her phone as she investigates. And what happens next is truly bizarre. Oh gosh. Okay, so I ska hämta verktyg till brormen från det jag fixar på en bil. Så Kaffan. Vad var det? Hallå? Oh my god. Oh Rabbit. My god. Oh my god. Rabbit raccoon. Oh, jeez, girl, you almost scared the crap out of me. Hello. There are people in here. Please don't jump out at me. Please don't jump out at me. Take for Hello. I'm waiting to see a face or a shadow figure. Okay. Oh. Fun. God, fuck, I got it. Sheep. Hello? Listen. Hey, Who's gonna be like, did you see it? I didn't see it. <laughs> Jane hears several weird screeches coming from somewhere like near her in the basement. Damn. And then as she leaves, the door seems to slam shut on its own. But did you see it? Probably not. Jane looks into a mirror two times while walking through the basement. The first time, there's nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. But the second time, something oh. seems to be standing in the doorway right behind her. To this day, Jane has no idea what happened, but says that the experience gave her the creeps. Now again, Jane says she has never posted this video anywhere online and wishes to remain anonymous. 
so I have to leave it up to you. She's not looking for Do you think Jane captured something paranormal? And if not, then just who or, or what, what is, is this? Hell up no. in smoke. It's around 11.30 at night and Jocelyn is working in a smoke shop in central Alabama when she hears a noise coming from the back of the store. Oh boy. Guys, I'm working by my f***ing self and I hear a noise in the back. Something can be seen moving around in the storage area in the oh, back. A groom. Oh, 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 oh. What the After posting fudge? the video online, shocked viewers asked Jocelyn to check the security footage of the camera in the back. There is now, no way anybody's moving. Now, whatever this is, it doesn't show up on camera. But about four hours later, in the middle of the night, when the store is closed and empty, this happens. At around four in the morning, a ladder falls over by itself and a pillow seems to appear out of nowhere and just drops down the stairs. Now, Jocelyn says, I've never heard of a haunted pillow before. That she was so shaken up that she has no intentions of ever returning to work. Are we talking about what this thing is right here? Work at the store and might actually just quit her job. But is this real paranormal activity caught on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? But what is this? What is this thing? Hello? You decide. It moves so Too fast. Too close for comfort. Hi. Amateur paranormal investigators Jared, his brother David, and a friend get together one night to investigate Jared's own house in Blackpool, England. England. You see, Jared claims that he has experienced... I want to go to England so bad. ...some creepy, unexplained events in the house. I love his shirt. So Jared's brother David is holding an <laughs> SLS camera with built-in night vision when he walks through the downstairs area to see if the camera maps out any strange figures. But then something happens that absolutely freaks out everyone. What? Using the uh, night vision camera on the SLS, uh, so that's why they're still behind me, because we don't want to keep mapping them. Exactly. We want to see what we can map ourselves. Let's have a look around the room, Dave. You never know. I mean, we caught some orbs in there last time. Was up here. Yeah, I'm, up, I'm hoping to see some orbs there. Yeah. You never know. There's a kitty. We're back. We're stuck on two of the K2 here. K2. Yeah, we've got Jeb behind us doing the K2, and he's got a couple of lights on it. You know, so we yeah. don't know. Yeah. Yeah. All we can do. They just keep yeah, going past them and say, Whoa! What the hell? Did I just see something or did, am I imagining that? I don't know, let's go. I think it's the grudge phase, but it definitely did start with me just now. What the hell? hell? I don't know. It was, it, to me, it looked like a face. Dave? Mm, I thought I, I thought I saw something. Oh, you I did see really, something. Really, really spooky. <laughs> As David pans around the living room, he captures what appears to be a bizarre pale face peeking out from behind the door to the hallway. The group looks through the house and even attempts to debunk what they just saw, but they can find no explanation as to what this is. What is it? Antoine's restaurant. Isabel Riley recently told a very creepy story online and followed it up with one of the creepiest pictures you'll ever see. How creepy. I need to tell you guys about the most insane evidence that I have ever seen of a ghost existing. Backstory. I was at a company get together with my CEOs, my coworkers, and one of the owners of the company. Well, looked at us and was like, hey, do you guys want to see a ghost picture? Immediately, yes. He begins to tell us that he was in New Orleans at a restaurant called Antoine's. New Orleans, first of all, super haunted city. If you know, you know. Um, and Antoine's is one of the oldest restaurants in the city. One of the oldest restaurants, I believe, in America. It has a lot of history. It used to be a jail. It is a really well-established place, has been around forever. 
So he's dining at this restaurant and he's offered a tour of the wine cellar. The wine cellar is huge, has thousands of bottles of wine, probably worth millions of dollars. So he's taking a tour of the wine cellar, he's taking pictures. There's this guy in the wine cellar on a laptop who is apparently at auction buying more rare wine for the collection. My CEO takes pictures of this guy on his laptop, doesn't think anything of it, he doesn't see anything, leaves the restaurant, calls it a day. The next morning, he's looking through the photos and notices something. So this is the ah. first picture that he showed me from the wine cellar. You can see this guy who is on his laptop at auction doing whatever. And here is the next picture that he took. Um, who is that? So we all see that. That is a full body apparition. It looks like a woman in this like black Victorian dress. And when I was showed this, I genuinely had full body chills. It reminds me of the movie Ghostbusters, you know, when they go inside and they're talking to the the ghost at the library and they're like, like, hey, and she goes, shh, this is what this reminds me of. So just who could the creepy alleged ghost woman dressed all in black in the photo be? It's like she's watching him like, what are you doing? For that, we go into the history of the restaurant. Antoine Alciatori opened his restaurant all the way back in 1840. Then in 1875, Antoine passed away when he was only 55 years old. Aww. When he died, he left his wife, Julie, in charge of the restaurant. So could this be Julie's spirit still looking over the restaurant from beyond the grave? I do see the similarities. Well, let me know what you think. It does look like her. It almost looks we like she's wearing scary this. It almost looks like she's wearing the same necklace. Videos. So if you see something scary that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The passenger. A guy who goes by the online name Jaladu says that he takes the subway in Mexico City nearly every night. But one night the subway train suddenly stops and he finds himself completely alone in the train car. Oh, what happens next is truly chilling. This reminds me of Ghost, where that one guy's like, hey, hey, and he kicks Patrick Swayze out. Or get, get my train. I was. Was that something next to The nervous to her? subway passenger hears bizarre sounds and terrifying screams, but there's something else even creepier. Did you see it? I did. In the reflection of the subway window, someone can be seen seated next to him. Yeah, I told someone you. with dark hair, dressed all in white. But when he panned his camera by the seat just seconds before, there's no one there. So was he taking a ride with something supernatural? I leave that up to you to decide. This is like um the crime. Felicia. One night Felicia Hall is out on her back deck playing with her dog when things get weird. You can hear it too. I feel so bad for the dog. Dog's like, hey, we're playing catch. Hey. <laughs> dog. Oh, poor baby. Out of nowhere, Felicia hears something that sounds like someone whispering right in her ear. Get out. Something that says, get out. <laughs> As you can tell in the video, Felicia is absolutely terrified and screams and hurries back inside, leaving her dog to wonder, what just happened? <laughs> He's like, so wait. did Felicia get an angry supernatural warning? You decide. And then you can see this move at the same time. What the f Revenants and renovations. I more feel bad for the dog. A man who works as a nurse at the IMSS hospital in Manzanillo, Mexico, was taking a tour of the recently renovated clinic number 10. Now the old hospital was built in 1932 and has seen its share of death and suffering for over 90 years. 
So the nurse is filming with his phone as he walks through the renovated clinic. How much I bet he caught a spooky ooky. Later, when he reviews his it's the same ghost face footage of the old hospital, he spots something that sends a chill down his spine. It's that grudge something face. resembling a small pale face can be seen peeking around the corner in clinic number 10. The man is shocked. He says that he never noticed this strange face. It's that same paper face, man. This face gets me every time. He's while filming. The man's aunt posted his video to the internet and posted his video to the internet and many viewers believed that he might have captured the spirit of a patient who passed away at the old hospital. On I Earth, think it's the same face, This next it? creepy story has been going viral and actually made international news. So, TikTok user Katie Santry from Columbus, Ohio woke up one morning to find that things in her home office seem to have been mysteriously moved around. I think my house is haunted and I'm freaking out. Like I'm literally shaking. This is my sunroom. This is where I work. I sit here every day. There's a playroom here, doors here. This is the space. I worked in here last night until about 6.30. Everything was fine. Shut my laptop. We closed these doors so the dogs don't come in here at night. No one is in this room. I'm down this morning to work. The screen shattered. This stuff, down here. This, hanging off. Here's the next bit of but important information. So we're building a fence and back here, we dug a hole. There is a rolled up carpet buried underground that we came across as we were digging this hole. Rolled up carpet. Who the f and why the f is there a rolled up carpet underground? Katie shares her strange story online and viewers suggest that there just might be something more buried in the yard Today. inside that rug. How deep is that? Like at least two feet? Almost, yeah. Oh, right now. At the intense urging of thousands of video commenters, Katie decides to call the police to check out the rug. Mm, just in case. Oh, there. Yeah, see that? It's like a tassel over there. Yeah. It's like the end of the. She's not even. Carpet. Wow. Who's to say it's not, you know, it's six feet long? Oh, 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 yeah. No, there's just something like weird. Now, Katie says that she thinks the rug is a bit strange, but she doesn't really think it's anything suspicious. That is, until Columbus detectives arrive at her house with cadaver-sniffing dogs. Oh my God. He alerted, didn't he? something oh my god two cadaver dogs both signal and sit on the area where the rug was found That's indicating crazy. that the dogs believe that there is a body there and this is when katie's casual story about a paranormal haunting in a buried rug starts to get a bit out of control Holy in fact katie's story becomes international news in a series of videos garnering millions of views, Katie Santry shared she may have discovered a body buried in a rug in her yard. The entire thing blew up on TikTok this week. The investigation stemming from social media police in Columbus saw a woman's TikTok showing she and her husband found this rug buried in her yard. She reached out to police Well, police showed up with cadaver dogs. Even after the first dog sat, I really didn't think the second dog was gonna do it too. I thought maybe it was just an accident. And when the second dog did it too, uh, I, I freaked out. I think it is absolutely crazy for something to happen like in our area like this. Understandably, Katie is completely overwhelmed as a homicide team arrives at her property to dig. So they this dig is it crazy. up? Okay. It might not mean anything yet. Okay. Wait and see what the interpretation Or is it an animal that passed and somebody okay. dug it there? Oh my 
Fucking game. So homicide is here and missing persons. And now CSI is bringing the shovels out. And I can see a news camera set up over there. Okay, they're digging. They've been digging. And there's six of them. Some of them are in the hole. Katie's viewers watch and wait for hours as the homicide team carefully digs out and examines pieces of the stained carpet. You guys, they have recovered the hole and this has been the most absurd, insane experience of my life. What did they find? No, they didn't find a body. They found a mother effing rug with some rubber. The question remains of why did the dogs hit? I don't know. Both dogs, not just one, two. I don't know. The other question remains is who broke my laptop? So Katie is happy with the news that the Columbus homicide team has. So why not check the history of the house to see like if somebody passed or whatever have you? It's not found anything suspicious buried with the rug. But viewers that followed Katie's story and even some news reporters are just not completely convinced. Okay, so the update is they took the rug. Okay. Police did. They did not find a body huh. yet. Yeah, what do you mean yet? Because the dog's marked on the rug, so there has to have been a body at some point. I don't believe for a second they didn't find anything in that rug. Not for a single second. I think she was posting too much about it, so they decided not to tell her what they found. Oh. Or because they took it away for forensics, it was a murder on the rug, no body. I don't believe for a second there was nothing on that rug. So even though police say the rug was fine, there's still some skepticism and some outright conspiracy theories about that rug. That's crazy. But what do you think? Why didn't they take like a scanning of the, the grounds and see if like, like those penetrating sonar, or not sonar, but those penetrating things that find bodies or find whatever is underneath the ground and see maybe what if the rug was covering up the body and the body's underneath i'm just hypothetically thinking hello Matty magarachi says that his house in monroe township new jersey is very haunted in fact oh, Matty has guy. been posting about the strange activity in his home for over four years one night Matty is home alone with his dogs when strange things start to happen Oh boy, the dog. Listen to your dogs, man. That's not a window. Daddy's parents are away on vacation, leaving him all alone in the house. And Why something else <laughs> happens that makes his blood run cold. They really love the cheetah print. Oh, the dog's over there. Oh, what is that? Hi, what is this? What the f is that? What the f was that? So these are just a couple of the many videos that Maddie has shared online over the last four years. So could it be that Maddie's house is actually haunted by something? Or is it all just a very elaborate hoax? You decide. Tell. I think the whole thing of this is that one story with the rug that really got me. It's like the dog sat. What do you guys think? Let me know your guys' opinions on there for the other clips. Did you have to use your extra pair of pants? Let me know. And don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends and we'll see you guys in the next video. Keep it real. Keep it safe. And as always keep learning on and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.